first stop of the morning is at the uh, totem pole park. See this giant totem pole thing? So, yeah. Missed it yesterday for some reason. I passed right by it. I don't even know why, but had to double back today. Luckily, I was only like 10, 15 minutes away. So, yeah, let's go check this crazy thing out. Checking out the totem. Must belong to one of these two houses next door or something. But he's just checking them out. At the Will Rogers Memorial Museum. Nice. Will Rogers, a performer, actor, humorist. He started life as a cow hand before becoming a Hollywood star. Also known as one of the greatest ropers of all time. His rope acts are what led to his success. About 66 Mother Road Market. Yep. Well, I stopped at this giant gold, golden driller statue here, and uh, it's at an expo center, but I don't know. It was big, kind of neat. It was on the map of things to see. So I'm here, now I'm uh, headed on to the next place. Decided to stop and check out the tallest oil derrick in this historic, historic Route 66 village. I don't know, here's the oil derrick behind me. Oh yeah, well there's Route 66 in Tulsa, nice. Checking out the tallest oil derrick, I thought to myself, is this really the tallest? I don't have anything to compare it against, but I assume it is. And then I thought, wow, oh, it's really nice they put a bench here so I could sit and admire the surroundings. I went over and checked out the old bus. It was actually nice inside, and then surveyed the surrounding area. It was a nice day, so being able to stretch my legs for a longer period of time feels great. I just wondered, where was that village they were talking about? I think I'm at this historical village, but I don't know what, where I'm supposed to be. It does not look like any sort of historical village I've ever seen. But maybe, maybe it's gone. Yeah, let me flip it around, I'll show you. I don't think I'm in the right place, but it does say historical village out on that sign. Well, I wonder if the oil platform in that building is supposed to be the historical village. But it says Red Fork Depot, so I don't know. On to the next thing. At the Route 66 Car Museum in Tulsa, and here's a giant gas pump. Driving down old Route 66, I turned off onto part of the old highway. This portion was far less used than any of the mainstream stuff I was used to. I decided to venture down the cracked and potholed road, hoping not to get another nail in my tire. This type of driving was what my truck was made for. Of course, to compare against all the big cars and crappy suspension of the 40s and 50s, or that early era of cars where people drove on Route 66.
Ah, the Rock Cafe. It takes its name due to the local sandstone in the area. It was originally built in 1936, but eventually had to get rebuilt due to a fire back in 2008. Supposedly, the Disney Pixar film Cars, the character Sally Carrera is a basis for Don Welch, the owner and proprietor of the Rock Cafe. Oh, I'm not actually bowling, but I just thought I'd stop and check it out. Look at that, wow. All right, on to the next place. Driving through the little towns is what makes Route 66 special. Checking out the murals is something to take in. It may not be the fastest way out west, but it takes you through some of the most scenic places. Sometimes we just need to slow down and take in what our country has to offer. What it was and what it's becoming. I just pulled over to check out this uh, Route 66 gas station, one of the last that was along the line. It's just a husk now, but uh, yeah, it's uh, empty and there was a pullover spot, so I stopped. Up this Cadia historical round barn. Just don't fit. I'm gonna go in and check it out. Walk around the place. Ooh. An outhouse. <laughs> Free Wi Fi. Can't beat that. I think they've had weddings and all kinds of stuff up here. Definitely got stuff at the top in the round barn now. Whoa, it is crazy. I'd like to have my event here. You could have events or anything. Stopped at Pop 66. There's a giant Coke bottle thing. I think it lights up at night. There are a lot of sodas everywhere. I love them all up there. There's more in these cases, too. Grab it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, that was day six. Uh, I meandered around through a bunch of little towns, visited a little historic places here and there. Took that really old road, old Route 66 road, and yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was scenic. I liked it. I uh, did take a break. I stopped and camped in Red Rock Canyon, so that's what we're checking out now. Well, I'm staying at the Red Rock Canyon uh, in Oklahoma. This place looks kind of like Utah's Red Rock Canyon stuff. Man, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Although it is 80, it's kind of hot, but whatever. Look at this snake. He must have ate something too. He's just hanging out. I don't even know what kind of snake he is. Uh, 
I didn't make it too far because I wasn't sure where I was going. I need to do a little bit more planning. So I'm just gonna camp here for the night. It's an actual campsite, which is nice. Just did some hiking around. If I get any pictures, uh, I think I got one or two, I'll show them. But yeah, that's about it. Lucille's Gas Station, built in 1927. Lucille and Carl Hammonds purchased the station and the motor courts, making it a family business on Route 66. Unfortunately, the interstate highway was a crushing blow to many small family businesses, but they persevered and stayed in business. Later, Lucille received a special recognition for her 51 years. Well, I stopped at Route 66 Cafe. This little place serves up the classic favorites and is also family owned. It's a simple diner with good comfort food. Unfortunately, when I got there, I decided I wasn't hungry, so I did not end up eating. So yeah, Route 66 National Museum. Uh, stopped, what was that, Elk City, Oklahoma. Uh, very nice place, uh, one of the best presented museums I've seen. The little recreation of a city that they had where you can kind of walk down the little side streets or whatever. So far, this is one of the most well put together Route 66 museums I've been to. This is really nice, really nice. Yeah, look at this whole little village over here. Wow. But yeah, I remember the Conoco station. It was kind of overcast, but it was a nice day, a nice day. Yeah, there was a bunch of other people, other stragglers out there taking photos. So I just joined them, you know, went over there, took some pictures. It was cool, it was cool. Went inside the little gift shop and uh, found out they had a little ice cream parlor next door or, or in it as well. So uh, I didn't get anything. I think it was an ice cream parlor. It could have been a candy store slash ice cream thing, but uh, maybe even a little restaurant where they serve burgers or something. But uh, I think it was mostly ice cream. That's what I saw or noticed. Once I left there, I stopped at a few more places along the way, and then I found a place to, you know, eat some dinner and uh, go to sleep, so. Yeah, I did stop at the Devil's Rope Museum. That was wild. I didn't know it was barbed wire until I got there. I was like, what is this? So, stopped there, checked it out, history of barbed wire. So the Devil's Rope, who would have thought? Uh, next, I stopped at a little rundown Route 66 gas station. That was a really nice photo opportunity. Pulled over, got out, took some awesome pictures. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely seen better days, that's for sure. I would have been there at sunset, sunrise, something like that, take some pictures. That would have really lit up the place. But uh, I stopped at this leaning water tower. It was kind of interesting, kind of like the leaning tower of Pisa, but uh, something in Texas, you know, hey, we got, got our own leaning tower here. It was kind of crazy. And that was my day on Route 66. Tune in next episode to see where my journey will take me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, you know, do it.